Hey guys, just a quick-ish look ahead for the events for the week to come, starting the week of March 7th. The new hero is out, Sylph. She is an elf cleric. She looks interesting, maybe not overpowered, but um, let's get into it. All right, so there is no special event, but there's a pretty decent amount of stuff going on here. So we're going to start with gold keys. <clears throat> This is, again, the non-Heaven and Hell version. However, both of these chests do have Sylph in them. So you can get two copies per round, plus um, all the other copies from up chests and stuff like that. The up hero is going to be Azathoth, Sylph, and Chaslon. So you can get quite a few copies there. And that's that. Hero summon is always... Where is here? Here is Hero Summon is Detlaf and Sigurd. Nothing special. We have our regular Hero Awakening plus Trial. And your free copy doesn't come until uh, Red 2, which was the old, what is it, T5 green? No, purple. So if you can convert someone here, you can get that. You also have a new limited hero replacement. So what this means is that you can convert any hero that you have six stars or higher into Sylph if you have copies. It is a free convert, doesn't cost any resources, and you get all copies of the hero back. So if you can get yourself a ton of copies of Sylph, you can convert anyone into her. Now, I converted... Uh, I got a few copies already. I'll show you how in a sec. So you can see here that let's say I choose a 10 star like Saizo, then I will need to choose five copies of Sylph, but I only have three. So I'm going to go with Hodor. Where did he go here? I'm just going to convert a nine star Hodor here. I choose my three copies of Sylph and I convert just like that and now I have a nine star Sylph and I get my three copies of Hodor back. So if you're just looking to convert him really quick and let's see here, I was actually curious about this. It does not seem to count for Hero Awakening. That uh, I was a little, oh no, it does. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, I was a little bit worried about that one because I wasn't sure if that was gonna be the case or not. But now we have confirmation it does. All right, so next we have Goblin Trade and Goblin Slayer. The, the items in the shop for Goblin Slayer are Axe and Brin. Axe, obviously very necessary if you don't have a Mythic 5 yet. Brin, not so much, even though she's getting a P3 upgrade this round. Uh, speaking of that, the new Platinum 3 are out. So we have Cosmic Scold, we have Isabella, we have... Uh, Bryn, Themis, Hodor, Aegina. Oh, there's a lot of them, actually. Lorelei, uh, Leo, and that's it. Okay, so quite a few of them, actually. Why is Saizo's thing so active? Okay, so quite a few. Themis is going to come back into the meta again because she was already very good. She does get stopped by Rex, though, so... You've got decisions to make on how you want to handle that, and Cosmic Scold is going to go back to being absolutely top of the heap and very unbeatable for non-whales. Alright, so, Goblin Trade. Um, obviously, I have very bad luck with this, so I was able to find Gold Souls, but I it took me 7,000 gems to find it twice, or as you can see, three times. So it's going to be expensive to find it. But someone else showed that it he got it way faster, so you know maybe if you're lucky. Also, we there does not seem to be red cans or cubes this time, so the important ones are going to be over there, which is the gold souls ten times, the skin shards twice, the legend the maybe the legendary five stars twice, and the goblin attack tickets if you want those. But everything else is just you know spend what you, whatever you got. So we take gold souls like that and just to show you miracle shards wheel five star flags keys skin i saw the skin shards a lot but as you can see my own personal luck not very good because i'm not fine oh i found one it took me like 600 gems to find it jeez that's very expensive all right so it's there 
and you can get it here. Um, oh, Moonstone Shop. Is th this is new, huh? Oh, shoot. This is new. Uh, where do I put this? Put it here. Rag. Dragon Ring. Oracle. Okay, I didn't see that before, so Ragnarok, these, these are all hard pass, just don't get these. Alright, uh, that is it for regular stuff. Uh, a note on Sylph is she looks like she could be powerful, but probably not overpowered. We'll have to see what her numbers actually look like. Um, she, you're, you're probably going to need to get her mythic skin and you may need some mythic tears of the goddess in order to keep her going because she loses energy every time you fire a skill and every time she gets hit. So, you know, she's going to need a lot of help with energy. Her mythic skin gets her back 10 energy every time anybody attacks. So that might be your team and their team. It might be only your team. That one is untested, but most likely is anybody. And so she's going to need that and yeah um definitely people are gonna have a lot of fun trying her out but we will have to see how good she actually is once she is released on our servers all right so that is it for the regular stuff next next week is going to be miracle eyes remember this did shift cycle because of sylph it was supposed to be wheel but wheel was the week before and so this, this the schedule is all off a little bit we'll kind of see how it comes back to normal after this you have an Easter event that has the new ice armor. You have Miracle or the Heroic Runes for Kurt. And you're going to have Soul Shop for, oh my goodness, Gold and Phoenix. Those are two good ones. All right. That is all for this week. See you guys next time.